guys! It's Kat again and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video guys, isushare ko sa inyo ang aking a day in my a day in my uh, work from home quarantine experience. And for that, it is important na separate natin yung aking uh, work life from our home life. So imagine that you are still working in the office. And for that, I will be showing you kung ano yung mga health and safety tips na pinapractice ko while working at home. So if you want to know more about this video, just keep on watching. in on time. This is me waking up in the morning. I mean, the alarm clock wakes me up in the morning, still feeling sleepy. But then, I need to get up from bed and start my day. Yay! Eating my morning breakfast. As what they say, a good breakfast fuels you up and get you ready for the day. Next thing is taking up a good shower to start. In a normal day, I take a bath in the afternoon but when this pandemic started and my work from home journey began, I made sure to start my day feeling fresh and kicking all throughout. I always choose to wear comfortable clothes when working. Making list. So next thing on my list is making list. Redundant ha, huh? but that's what it is. Before I start doing my work, I always check on my emails and pending deliverables from yesterday. That is my first in, first out routine. Setting breaks. It is important to pause for a while if you are feeling a little tired. Get some coffee breaks or get out, catch that fresh air or have a little chit chat with your friends. Or even have a short stretching to keep you alive. Having little breaks actually relaxes our brains, it re-energizes and it re-engages us and we make less errors. Do not multitask. I know many of us are guilty doing multitasking. You need to stop that because multitasking reduces your efficiency and performance because your brain can only focus on one thing at a time. When you try to do two things at once, your brain lacks the capacity to perform both tasks successfully. And lastly is clock out on time. Manage your time by scheduling your work. Know your deadlines. Do not over abuse your mind and body working late hours. It is important to practice self-care without compromising the quality of your work. So know when to stop and rest. So for my safety measures during work from home setup, here are the things I take on consideration. First is your workstation area. Make sure you dedicate a space from your home to get your work done. Some place wherein you can get privacy, quiet place and away from any distractions. With good ventilation and make sure you are working comfortably. Next is keeping your work area safe from hazards like falling objects, untidy workspace, or even electrical hazard. Next is checking on your sitting posture. Here, I bought an ergonomic chair to support my back pains and even got an electric massager for my lower back pain. It is important to have your sitting posture right. Last is stock up on office or personal supplies. Get all the things ready that you think you need to work productively. May that be paper, pens, or even notebook. I even included as my supply this cup of water to keep me always hydrated. And a little fun here for my proper ventilation. So just to end up my vlog, here is the quote of the day. 
Working from home doesn't mean you lose the sense of professionalism. It means you have to create a warm work environment to become more productive than ever. Enjoy your work from home. See you on my next one. Bye! So there you have it guys. Sana meron kayo mga natutunan or mga nakuha na mga tips on how you manage your uh, your time during your work from home. Kung ano yung mga kailangan yung mga things to work uh, productively at saka kung paano nyo uh, masusustain yung uh, yung parang drive nyo to work more. Yung mga mga practices na ino-observe ino ko while working from home. So, I hope you enjoy watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and click that red button to be part of my podcast. Also, guys, don't forget to ring the bell para lagi kang updated sa aking mga future videos. See you on my next one. Bye!